the Lord chose, chose him for himself as high priest and opening his treasure house, made him rich in all good things. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of St. Pius the Fifth. As we celebrate this feast, let us all ask for his powerful intercession during this difficult time and difficult situation. Let us also continue to pray for the whole world and the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore ask bless Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your providence raised up Pope St. Pius V in your church, that the faith might be safeguarded and more fitting worship be offered to you. Grant that through his intercession that we may participate in your mysteries with lively faith and fruitful charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the image of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was a, an Ethiopian eunuch. A court official of the Candice, Queen of the Ethiopians, Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home, seated in his chariot. He was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the Spirit said to Philip, Go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran to it and heard the official 
reading the prophet Isaiah, Philip asked, Do you understand what you are reading? The official replied, How can I unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb silent before its shearer, so he does not open his mouth. In his humility, humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, About whom may, may ask you, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak. And starting with the scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? And Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he replied, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He commanded the chariot to stop. And both of them, Philip and Eunuch, went down into the water. And Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw him no more and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Asatis, and as he was passing through the region, he proclaimed the good news to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. Who has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip? Alleluia, Alleluia. Come near, all who fear God, and I will tell what He has done for me. I cried out, I cried aloud to Him, and He was extolled with my tongue. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed be God, because He has not rejected my prayer, or removed a steadfast love from me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you. Those who had been fed by the five loaves followed Jesus to the other side of the lake and asked him for a sign that they should believe in him. Jesus said, Jesus said to them, No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the Lord's day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, glad to meet all of you through our YouTube live streaming Max. Hope we are all doing well and we are doing well here in St. Michael's Maravishi. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the central message from the two readings of today for our reflection is to increase our Christian belief in the risen Christ, the Son of God. In today's first reading, we have read from the Acts of the Apostles, Philip preaches about the gospel of the risen Christ to the eunuch as a result. The eunuch believes in Jesus Christ and he is baptized by Philip. But there is, in today's gospel, the people, they were fed by Jesus, the Son of God, but they failed to believe in Jesus Christ. And they asked Jesus for a sign in today's gospel. Let us reflect about the two readings of today. How is my belief in the Son of God in my Christian life, especially during this difficult situation? 
My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Christ has risen indeed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He has been with us. He has been traveling with us. The risen Christ has not yet forsaken all of us. The risen Christ has not yet forsaken the whole world. He will liberate us from this difficult situation. Let us increase our belief in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Let us pray for one another. Let us continue to pray for the whole world. And let us spend more time with our family members. Let us ask for this grace and persevere with solely Eucharistic celebration. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and book of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual ring. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord of the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his own church. Accept the sacrifice from your people. We pray, O Lord. 
and make what is offered for your glory in honor of the blessed Saint Pius the Fifth, a means to our eternal salvation. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your same saint, Pius the fifth, and crowning his merits, you crown your own gifts. By his way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with him, you give us companionship. By his intercession, show us support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with him the imperishable crown of glory to Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim and say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, health of all of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessings you comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapo was in the, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and bring this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
Giving thanks that you are always worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part in the body and blood of Christ, or we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. I remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity together, together with Francis our Pope and Christian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Eric McLean again, whom you have called from this world yourself. Grant that who was united with your son in a death like this may also be one of the things in this resurrection. Lord, in a special way, we pray for the whole world and the brothers and sisters affected with COVID 19. We also pray for Julie. Lord, bless them, touch them, and heal them. Dear Blessed Mother, pray for them. We also pray for the brothers and sisters who have asked us for our prayers. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her spouse Saint Joseph, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in eternal life and the grace and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him one day, think one day, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. A deceivous command and form by divine teaching, we had to say, Our Father who art in heaven, Hello be the name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day <coughs> give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look now our sins for the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and guilt in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Good Shepherd has laid down his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, O God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed St. Pius the Fit burn urgently as he gave himself unceasingly for the church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's all go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for watching our YouTube live streaming mass. God bless and have a good day.